Today, I want to share three things you need to know when starting your podcast, and they might not actually be any of the things that are holding you up from actually getting started. Because for some of us, you already know these things. But for many of us, we don't figure these things out until further down the road. So I'll share with you today what those three things are. Let's go. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Good Podcasting. My name is Brian. I'm the host of the show. And the show is all about helping new podcasters create, launch, and grow their shows. If you just happen to be listening to this podcast on your phone, in your car, on your computer while you're sitting there at work, welcome. Let me also invite you, if you're interested in checking out any of the visuals that we talk about here on the show, you can visit Summit City Studios on YouTube and you can catch all these episodes in video format over there. Now, today I want to talk about the three things you need to know to start a good podcast. The first thing you need to know is who your audience is. Now, you might say, the content that I'm creating, I just want to create for anybody and everybody who will listen. Because there's a lot of people interested in all the things that I'm interested in, all the things that I'm interested in, right? Now, the problem with that is you recognize the longer you create on YouTube, the longer you create podcasts, the longer you create anything, there's really only a segment of people who are going to listen to that. So the problem with trying to reach everybody and talk about everything is that really no one is going to stick. You kind of have to know who that audience is that you are really going after, that you're targeting. Now, you can talk about a lot of different things, but as you go in, know who your audience is. Some people would even encourage you to create an avatar. And I'm probably, I probably lean that way a little bit more than not. But an avatar is someone that you are talking to, someone who might be behind the camera, someone who you would be having this conversation with at a coffee shop or over lunch somewhere at a restaurant. Um, the, 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 someone you know or a, a personality or a person that you've created in your mind that is really interested in the things that you have to say. So as you think through your avatar, who that audience avatar is, consider their age, consider their gender, consider the things that they're interested in. Some people would even say, consider what part of the country they live in. Uh, what is their family situation like? What is their work situation like? What are their hobbies? What sports do they watch? What teams do they love? All of those things seem a little detailed. To be quite honest, when I started doing that, it was hard to figure out this avatar, to fill out a piece of paper and write all of this down, which I would encourage you to do, by the way. There's some great resources out there. If I can find some, I'll link them in the show notes here. But as you consider who that person is and you drill down to some of the details that seem, oh, maybe a little excessive, like you don't really need to know what teams they follow, but if you, the more you know about your audience, the better you'll be able to tailor your content for them. The second thing is, what questions is your audience asking? Now, again, if we know, just know who the people are, uh, let, me, let me back this up just a little bit. Have you ever had a conversation with someone who you know who they are, you know what they're about, and you try and talk about the things that you think they're interested in talking about, and they seem really disinterested. They seem like maybe they want to talk more than they want to listen. They seem like they're interested in other things than you thought they were interested in. Because you came in with an idea of what you knew about them that you wanted to talk about, but they were just kind of unplugged, disconnected, and they weren't really listening to anything you had to say because, because maybe you weren't listening to the questions that they were asking. Now, I know that's a roundabout way to get at this point I'm trying to make, but that point is we've got to listen to our audience. We have to listen to the questions that they're asking. So as you think about that avatar, that person, what they're interested in, what their hobbies are, what their work situation's like, what their family situation's like, what are the things that they need to know? What are the questions that they're asking about the content that you are passionate about sharing? Because only then, when you know your audience and you know the questions they're asking, then you can get to the third thing that you need to know, which is how your content answers those questions that your audience that you know is asking. You see, you might have a library of content. 
But if you don't know who your audience is and you don't know what questions they're asking, you don't know which book to pull off the shelf. You don't know which chapter to flip to, what page number to pull out of all of the content that you have. Because all of it may be relevant, but maybe not relevant now. Let me give you an example. This podcast here, Good Podcasting, I want to talk to people who are trying to figure out how to get started or those who have started and are trying to figure out what their next steps are in the podcasting journey. I want to help you organize your thoughts, create good episodes, create a good podcast, answer the questions like, what kind of mic do I need? What kind of mixer or interface do I need? What even is a mixer? What even is an interface? And do I even need one? You see, those are all questions that new podcasters are asking beyond this idea of who your audience is and what questions they're asking and how your content does that a lot of podcasters are asking questions about gear, lights, equipment. But I've worked with enough new podcasters to know what those questions are that maybe they're even not quite yet asking. So I hope that example helps to kind of get your head around what I'm talking about here. Those three things that you need to know when starting a podcast, your audience, what questions your audience is asking, and how your content answers those questions. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Good Podcasting. Make sure you like, subscribe, wherever you happen to be listening or watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode.